issue. I know you mentioned earlier that there does, based on this poll, seem to be Trump nostalgia for the economy. As we sit here right now, he is currently on trial in his New York uh, criminal hush money case. Does this poll show that his legal issues don't matter to voters or don't matter just yet? That is a great question that remains to be seen. There is some data in some of the polls that show that if Trump is convicted of any of these charges, not just in this case, but in any of the other cases that are out there, that that might be some sort of tipping for, tipping point, um, particularly among independent voters. I'm skeptical of that. I honestly think, you know, for Republicans, they all believe, or most Republicans believe that none of these cases, none of these charges have any merit and all, are all politically motivated. And Democrats believe the opposite. They're all, you know, they already believe Trump is guilty. That's, that's again, baked in the cake. Um, I, I, I happen to think though, given how much attention these trials have gotten, uh, that independents are pretty well informed and have already made up their minds uh, about this. And so I, I'd be shocked if there were, you know, a, a big number of independent voters, if Trump is convicted of, you know, let's say this trial, uh, any of these charges that they're going to say suddenly, oh, well, because of that, um, you know, I'm suddenly not going to vote for Trump. I just don't think I might be wrong and we'll, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But I just I'm skeptical that that's going to fundamentally alter the landscape of this election right now. I think that's really emblematic. Your point is I sit my office uh, is in New Jersey and we see the New York City skyline. So there has been a plane and a banner that has been flying by in Manhattan that says when you indict him, you unite us MAGA as he is in court. But I am curious, these polls have made headline after headline over the last few days. What do you think is missing from the national conversation? I, you know, I don't know exactly. I mean, I, I guess the main thing that I would say is, um, you know, polls are simply snapshots in time of where the electorate is, right? That is certainly, it's an important indicator. You know, polls this far out from the election typically aren't as predictive, don't have as much value. They will have more value as we get closer and closer to the election. But the other piece of an election is, is simply turnout. Which party can do a better job of finding their voters and getting their voters and their ballots to the polls. And Democrats have shown they have a much better handle on that over the last couple of cycles than Republicans do. Republicans are still, I mean, Donald Trump is still, even up until a few months ago, was telling voters, um, telling his supporters, don't, you know, mail your ballots in. I mean, that you would show up on election day. And Republicans found out the hard way in 2022 that that simply doesn't work in this day and age. All of the changes that were made to accommodate for COVID in a lot of these states um, Republicans have been trying to, to claw those back and change those laws as opposed to sort of playing by the new rules as they exist. And I think they've now shifted into that mode, but we'll see. They've got a lot of catching up to do. I think Democrats, um, that's the other piece that's probably not getting as much attention as it, as it probably deserves, because I think Democrats have the advantage on the ground in a lot of these battleground states. And, you know, that's going to count for at least a couple of percentage points in terms of what the final result will be.